Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Fabulous19. It's time to get fabulous by playing this game. It's Final Fantasy 1. By all means, enjoy. Alright, so before I start rambling on about random things, I would first like to give a shout out to someone who goes by the name Bool. He's the one that um, created the thumbnail image that you see for this video and that you saw in the intro there. So I just have to say thank you for that. <laughs> um, just thanks a lot. I <laughs> really, really could use all the help I can get, I guess. So I take whatever I can, thank you for that, Bool. I shall call him Bool Fabulous since he is now part of the team of two people now. So now I'm having, I'm having extra help with my videos now, at least with the thumbnail. So thank you for that. So that's my first shout out to somebody. And I really do enjoy the thumbnail, I keep staring at my pot, this is like a masterpiece. <laughs> now the second thing I have to address is... Mr. Effler, his channel is apparently just gone. I mean, look. So, here are all the many people I'm just subscribed to. Either because I like content, or what would they did, or their personalities, or some reason. Uh, these are basically all the people I'm subscribed to, and yet something is... Something's missing. I'm just noticing all the channel names, everything seems to be just in the right order. But I can't quite put my finger on what's going on. Something's not right. Hmm. I 
seem to be missing someone actually from it, but it appears to be someone that I was described to. Where are they? I don't see him. You see him? I don't see him. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Where's Mr. F Flu 22 at? Where is he? Is he up here? Nope, not there. Nope. Is he down here? Where is he? Let's take a closer look. He's right there on the list. Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! That's why he's gone. Okay. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I'm pretty sure right now he's getting pretty ape was pretty angry or something. Probably as mad as the Hulk. <laughs> that probably explains why. Uh. <laughs> I haven't heard from him in a long while. <sighs> so unfortunately, uh, if he does make, if you do make another channel, Mr. Evler, let me know. I can resubscribe easily. <clears throat> <sighs> anyway, sad time over now. Back to the game. <laughs> This lady is named Matoya. She can't find her eye, as you can see, a crystal eye. She will be slightly important later for a puzzle. The crystal eye, and that will be a side. Well, no, not necessarily a side quest, but it will be something we will have to do pretty soon. So let's go over here and take what's in these chests. We have an antidote and two potions. Yeah. In the tree earlier was saying something about swish swish or e and to select B or something like that. Actually what he's saying is press the select button and press B. And that's how you bring up your map, but it's written backwards. Just like this, you pull up pull up your map with the buttons that it told you. Right now we're right here, near Matoya's cave, and we need to go down to the right, follow this path into this first town that we see here, which is that red square. That's us. The red square is the town. That's where we're going. Just so you know. Ugh, and a battle. Mr. Effler's channel may be gone, but he's not gone from this game and in this fight. <laughs> so at least he's stuck around somehow, some way. So that's positive, right? Yeah, so once again, I recommend just putting enemies to sleep if there's a ton of them. And usually sleep, or most of these status ailments, only seem to work on weaker enemies. Occasionally stronger ones, but it seems just like weaker ones are just attracted like a magnet. Which is one reason I've never always been fond of using status ailments, but... Recently I've been enjoying using poison as a status ailment, but... Things like this is just why I never liked applying status ailments. Sometimes it just wastes your turn and leaves you wide open. Yep. But when it does succeed, like that sleep spell, it's very useful for dealing with all of this monsters, just everyone. You give a huge advantage. And just like that, we win. I just barely survived the fight, but I am a black mage, so I'm pretty, uh, pretty wimpy, <laughs> very squishy, and get hurt pretty easy. Which is why you want to put your mages people at the bottom part of that screen. The people up top, like Cody, is uh, they attract more of the hits. Meanwhile, people on the bottom of the list, like myself, 
attract less of the hits. The chances of you being hurt or attacked are much lower at the bottom versus the top. You can put Cody up top only because he's a warrior and the warrior class typically wears a lot of thick armor and shields. They have lots of hit points so they can pretty much tank a lot of the damage. So it would be best to put them up front. Unless you want to play risky and just do things the way you want to, then by all means go ahead, do what you want, but just know that you're making the game a lot more challenging for yourself if you uh, if you were to rearrange the same mages in front. Putting them in front will cost you some serious issues early in the game. Maybe you can do that later if you want, but not not now, we're just at the beginning of the game. <laughs> I kind of feel like this episode is the Mr. Effler episode, with everything being considered. So let's have him vent out his rage and frustrations by throwing fire spells everywhere. All the burning rage and all the hard work for a channel gone, and it's time to get, you know, a little bit of a anger and aggression out. Let's just burn everything. Makes sense, right? Of course it does. Ooh, look at that. He even got the finishing hit and a critical hit. He is mad as f This music. I forgot all about the town music in Final Fantasy 1. It was probably my favorite music in this entire game, to be perfectly honest. I can just listen to it. I'm not even going to talk for the rest of this part of the town, just so you can listen to this background music. Looks like I interrupted the music with the end music, but don't worry, we really have the nice music all over again. But we're sleepy, so we're gonna go to we're gonna go to bedtime. Hopefully nothing happens. Okay, we're good. I thought a certain someone was gonna, was going to attack us in our dreams or something, but no, that didn't happen. These uh, new spells, I'm trying to give it to people. <laughs> I 
I guess based off the personality, really. I'm trying to think who would make the most sense to give what to. I guess this is my way of attempting to guess what you all would pick. <laughs> I've come to a decision. Every time we enter a town and that town music is playing, I'm just going to be quiet and let the music play. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing, because I like it far too much. <laughs> and before we fight any uh, pirates or our pirates that are invading this town, I'm going to make sure that everybody has decent equipment and I can buy everything I need from here, just stock up on everything. These little uh, leather gloves mainly just increase your defense by one point. So Paul's defense went by two, and now it's up to three. From 15 here, up to 16 for Effler. And it'll be the same for Cody from 15 to 16. The shield actually takes it up by two. So, that's all I'm going to be doing here. Uh, let's go to item. Oh, nope, we're done. <laughs> Anything else I need to get? Oh yeah, that's right, that armor in there, it costs 640, I'll be getting that pretty soon. I just need to build up some more money, grab, uh, oh, make sure you grab a lot of antidotes, because we will be going through a cave where you're going to get poisoned constantly, so you're going to need a ton of these antidotes. Phoenix down, costs an arm and a leg, I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't know why. We need to make that a lot cheaper. Just like that, I have a bunch of money, and I can get what I need. I actually can purchase some Phoenix Downs from that, and more antidotes. I keep grabbing the antidotes, trust me, you're gonna need them. We'll be heading to an area known as the Marsh Cave, and that Marsh Cave will be annoying with the poisons and the poisoning. That's really the main threat, is the poison. <laughs> Luckily, we're not dealing with that in this video. And we can now get this iron armor, it's really, really, really good. <laughs> For this point in the game, defensive 24. Yeah, we want that. You've got cannonballs of steel to be taken on, great pirate Bicky. Keel haul him, boys. Aye aye, Captain. We'll make their bones go crunch. Alright, so I have to do all we have to do is fight these two or three and we win, right? Sounds easy enough. Just two or three. Surprise, motherfucker! What? We have to fight all these pirates. 
I thought it was going to be two or three, but I guess not. We have to fight nine of them. But don't worry, it's easier than it looks. It's not It's not that much of a surprise, you potty mouth. See? Just blind everybody. You'll be okay. That's all you have to do. Look. They're not that tough. And they're only doing one damage. These are some really pathetic pirates. Ugh. get the ship. Very useful. Now we can use it to travel to areas we haven't been to before yet. right here. We can use this ship to move around like this, as you can see. But we'll do that in the next episode. Because that'll be the end of this one. So until the next video, have a fabulous day.